Hello, and welcome to the Oklahoma Parent Center series called Communicating with Your Child's School Through Writing. My name is Ellen Kimbrell, and I'm an advocate here at the Oklahoma Parent Center. Today, we're going to be talking about requesting an initial evaluation for special education services. So first, we want to talk about why you would need to request or why you would um, consider requesting an evaluation. Well, if your child has consistently struggled in school, um, either academically or behaviorally or even socially and emotionally, these are all areas that the school can evaluate in to determine if there is a disability and if the child needs special education services. So here's the sample letter. I'm sharing it on my screen, as you can see. And all of this letter and all the letters can be found on our website at theoklamaparentcenter.org under the parent tab. But today we're going to talk about this letter. And so you want to just start the letter by, um, you know, that your name and contact information. And then, of course, the persons uh, that you're addressing the letter to. And then you're just requesting that your child be evaluated and why you believe they should be evaluated, why you're, you're concerned. Um, you might list some things that you have attempted and tried with them at home on your own, things that have potentially worked and maybe things that didn't work. And this is all good information that will help the, will help the school determine, you know, what areas might need to be conducted. Now, of course, as a parent, you have a right to a full comprehensive evaluation in all areas of suspected disability. And so you wanna include that you understand that this is a written permission that you have to give and um, give the contact information and when is the best time to reach you. Now, if you'll bear with me just one minute, I'm going to um, stop share and I'm gonna share the consent because once you've written the letter, then the school will have, um, they will have an opportunity to respond to you in writing um, their intention of conducting the evaluation. And like I said, it, you do have to sign consent. And this is the actual form that you have to sign. As you can see, it just has all the contact or the child's information here at the, at the top. Of course, it'll be an initial evaluation. Um, here's what I wanted to show you, which is the second portion of the consent. And it has all the list of different evaluations the school can do. And of course, they'll typically always do a vision and hearing screening. And then of course you have academic intellectual disability or intellectual cognitive, so forth, so on. I'm not gonna go through all of these. I, would, I do wanna point out the assistive technology because there's so many different um, technology now that can enhance and improve the quality of our children's education. And so um, anyway, this is what the form looks like. And we would encourage you to check areas where you feel like your child needs to be evaluated in to determine if there is a disability of some kind going on. So <clears throat> with that, I that's pretty much the, the intent of it of what you need to do and then just send it on to the school and like I said they would be in touch with you and um, then you would move forward and once that consent has been signed the school has 45 school days to complete that evaluation so um, this letter and many like I said of the other letters many letters can be found on our website and any of us here at the Parent Center would be delighted to help you if you need further assistance or have additional questions. So you can reach us at 877-553-4332 um, or my direct line is 405-485-8660. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again sometime really soon. Thanks, bye-bye.